What's up guys, back here with another video. So um, one thing that I wanted to talk about was, you know, guys always ask the silly ass question, right? And it's, uh, how do I get a girl to like me, right? And the question is the mistake in itself, right? <laughs> because, you know, girls will like you. For example, your teacher likes you, right? Oh, he's a good kid, I like him. You know, uh, your fucking dog likes you. Uh, you know, um, you know the girl who puts you in the friend zone likes you. You don't necessarily want a girl to like you, right? Uh, your goal should be to make a girl obsessed with you. Uh, she should be, uh, you know, crushing on you heavy. You know, the goal is to never make a girl like you. Um, and, you know, a lot of guys are asking me the silly ass question is, how do I make a girl likes you, right? The girl who likes you is never gonna sleep with you, right? Right? You don't want a girl to like you. You want her to be crazy about you, right? So, change that mindset. And, uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, you know, anything, I don't even know how you would even get worse than that. Maybe if you say, I, wanna, I don't want a girl to hate me, right? But don't, don't say I want girls to like me. How do I make her fucking obsessed with me? Right? Which I do answer on the podcast. So if you're listening to the podcast, you can go listen to that. Um, how to make a girl obsessed with you, obviously. Uh, there's different steps, and there's a lot of different steps to game. Uh, but that's a little more advanced and deeper game. Well, not, not so much advanced, it's just I feel like if you're in a relationship, that's some steps that you have to go through. Um, now, when making a girl, you know, initially when she you want to make her, when you're building attraction, one of the key things, and aside from everything else, uh, the mo one of the most fundamental is where guys go wrong is um, they don't polarize their relationship, right? So what, what, what does it mean uh, to polarize? Um, like uh, you're afraid to stand up to her. You're afraid to correct her. Uh, you're afraid to tell her no. You're afraid to treat her like a regular girl. And a lot of the times, especially with really pretty girls, um, a lot of times they'll let this girl get away with disrespectful shit, even mildly disrespectful, right? Oh, that's gay. You, know, you look like a little faggot today. Well, excuse me? Don't, don't talk to me like that. Oh, you're so sensitive. No, I'm not sensitive. Just let's keep it classy, baby. You know what I'm saying? Don't be disrespectful. Um checking her like she says the fucking water is blue no it's not how are you gonna tell me that the ocean isn't blue the ocean is not blue water is see-through water is clear it's translucent now maybe the reflection of the sky may make the water appear that it's blue but water isn't blue right even if it's little things on that especially the prettier the girl they're not used to guys correcting them and that's why a lot of guys fall into the friend zone because they don't, they're so afraid to make that girl upset that um they'll say anything to please her don't give her a fucking way no don't get what are you giving her away for and that's why uh she won't sleep with you because you're afraid to polarize your relationship even on the approach even on the approach right you approach a girl and when you start when you first meet this girl right tease her tease her some guys are so afraid you don't even get past the fucking first line oh i got a boyfriend oh sorry no thank you because you're coming up nervous you're not calm you <laughs> how you doing uh, i'm so nervous but i just want and sometimes that may work but not on a girl that's fucking a, a nine or a ten hell no right so you might come up to her and be like hey you know uh you know i just i would kick myself in that in foot you know i'd be shooting myself in the foot that i didn't come say hello to you right in, implying lower value implying that oh that you know He's not used to talking to pretty girls. Like, why are you approaching her saying, I would regret it if I didn't go say hello to that beautiful... No, don't, don't do that shit. Treat her like a regular bitch. Right? If she if she, if she she's wrong about something, right? If she's giving you a signal, like, hey, so what, what, what you doing here? Oh, I just came out of work. Oh, really? Oh, what do you work? Oh, I work right over there at the restaurant. Okay, cool. Good day at work? No, my place were getting on my nerve. And then she good, continues to tell you a story where she was blatantly wrong. Like, uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, and maybe it's not, 
maybe you want to like uh you know do some nlp and you know reflect what she's saying just repeat what she's saying in a different manner so this way she feels like you understand uh, but then you know just say yeah well you know i wouldn't exactly go about that i think i think i'm not i don't want to say you're wrong because uh, i don't have you know the full situation down hand but i wouldn't do that because of this you know what i'm saying don't be afraid to disagree with her that's where most guys go wrong they are not afraid to uh they're afraid to uh say anything that would piss her off because they're afraid that um uh you know she'll reject them or she wouldn't want to deal with them now when you do that you come off as the nice guy and what that is communicating to her when you come off as a nice guy that maybe uh you get rejected a lot um maybe that uh you know you get no social feedback as far as you know the females go and uh you you really can't afford to uh make mistakes or you can't afford to uh be mean or polarize your relationship right uh maybe you're a fucking doormat maybe girls just walk all over you right and that's the type of perception that you're putting out there when you're afraid to polarize a relationship don't be afraid to correct that bitch don't be afraid to don't be afraid <laughs> to disagree with her right because there is something fundamentally when a guy is a nice guy and you usually can see it and you can read it when it comes to body language when it comes to how he talks um being too much of a nice guy uh being non-combative it almost plays on a higher hypergamous nature right women want a man that's strong who uh is resilient who is brave who's gonna uh give them strong kids to carry on their lineage right and this is why you guys this is why you know some athletes are so chosen right aside from them having success especially fighters and football players and guys who do those physical sports right these guys are specimens and they stay in shape obviously not afraid they fight for a living right um and then on top of that you couple that with money uh, you're you're like a almost you're almost like you know chosen right and and it, and it plays on the hypergamous nature because they want the alpha they want the strong seed that will um uh that will carry on their lineage right it's almost i don't want to say evolutionary but i guess you can say that i don't like i don't really believe in the whole concept of evolution when it comes to humans honestly but that's a whole nother uh conversation right but it's uh it plays on the hypergamous nature right they don't want to they don't want a, a strong, they, they don't want a weak man, they want a strong man, right? So when you do that, you're conveying higher value, right? Especially when you're getting into this interaction. And one of the mistakes guys make when they get married, they feel like they don't have to game their wife no more, right? And that's why divorce rates are so high. And that's why women initiate most of those divorces. Uh, you guys become cowards. Um, but, you know, you want to convey a higher, value, a higher value and you want to lead to interaction especially from the beginning and the end, whether that's when you first meeting her or you're a few years into your relationship. Um, you know, being too nice will definitely lead you to the friend zone, right? It's a lot of guys who end up in the friend zone. So um, one thing that I want to tell you guys is, uh, you know, you don't want a girl to girl to like you. You want to get her to be obsessed with you. So, you know, get her to be obsessed with you. Don't, don't, uh, don't do this whole thing where it's like, Oh, I want her to I don't like you. No, you don't want her to like you. You saying you want her to like you is saying I want to be in a friend zone. I ain't gonna get no ass because she's not gonna sleep with you, right? Or if even if your goal isn't just having sex, if your goal is to get married, you know, stuck for the Lord. But you know, there's a lot of guys out there. You know, obviously I'm Muslim, and there's some guys out here who just want to get married. Okay, cool. It's the same thing. You know, some girls might be uh, a little less, you know, hypergamous. They might. Uh, you know, how do you say, uh, suppress their hypergamous nature, right? Which are very few. Um, but when you find those good quality women, you still have to have a level of respect. You still got to game them to a degree, right? So even if you want to get married, even if you are married, right? And you're not doing it and your wife talks to you a little crazy, you know what you got to do. Don't tolerate that type of disrespect, right? So... It's just our jobs at men, and that's what I want to tell you guys. Um, so before I get out of here, I just want to tell everybody, make sure you hit the subscribe button. The subscribe button. Um, subscribe to Patreon, where you'll get more exclusive content like this. Um, I'm going to put this on Patreon first, so they'll probably see it before you guys do, and then I'll release it on YouTube. Um, follow me on Instagram at Nation Hip Hop. 
and uh, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok. Uh, follow all my TikToks. You know how to get on TikTok. They stay deleted me. I got a fucking new TikTok every every month, right? And I get like, I hit like hundred thousand followers in one month because everybody knows I'm there and they were following me before. You know, they know I exist and they're looking for my content. And make sure you follow me on Instagram too, just in case they do delete me. Follow me on both of my pages, and uh, we can get going from there, right? I'm out of here, guys. I'm gonna go buy some sneakers. <laughs>